Hello friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied about the surface area of right circular cylinder. Now, in this video today, let us look at interesting examples based on the surface area of right circular cylinder. Manas, let's go play in the playground. Yes, let's go. Hey, what is this? There is some construction work going on on the playground. Yes, look how huge this road roller is. It is being used to level the playing field. The area of the ground is 2200 square meters. Then, how many rotations will this roller have to take to level the entire field? We can find this very easily through mathematics. That means, it's math time! Look Thomas, when the roller completes one rotation, it flattens the area of the field equal to its curved surface area. Can you tell me the diameter and length of the roller? The diameter of the roller is 70 centimeters and the length is 100 centimeters. Now look Thomas, we know that the curved surface area of a cylinder is the product of 2 pi r and h where r and h are the radius and height of the cylinder respectively which we can also write as the product of pi dh in this way the roller here is cylindrical and has a horizontal orientation therefore the length of the cylindrical roller will be equal to its height here. Let me solve this by substituting the diameter of the roller 70 cm instead of D and length of the roller 100 cm instead of H in this formula. Hey wow! In this way, the curved surface area of the roller is 2.2 square meters. Now, what do we have to do, Manas? Now, it's very easy. Look, Thomas. In one rotation, the roller flattens an area of 2.2 square meters. So, in order to find the number of rotations the roller takes to level the entire ground, that is 2200 square meters, we only need to divide the area of the field 2200 square meters by the area of the field being flattened in one rotation 2.2 square meters. Oh, look, the roller has to make a thousand rotations to level the playing field. So many rotations! Then let's cancel the plan to play in the field today. Let us return to our world and go to my house and play a game. With this example, we have seen how our daily life problems can be solved based on the surface area of a cylinder. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this.